First up for you, some important news. Federal regulators have adopted new rules for the credit card industry over the last couple of weeks. Rules designed to shield consumers from increases in interest rates on existing account balances. And among other things, the only problem that consumers are going to have, and I did not know this, is that you're going to have to wait until July of 2010 for these new rules to take effect. And joining us to talk more about that is Terry Murphy from the Women's Wisdom Network. Good morning. Well, you, you Merry Christmas, yes. Happy Kwanzaa, yes. Happy Hanukkah. You made it through good the December. snow. <laughs> yes, I did. Thank yeah. you. Stuck in Milwaukee for two days, okay? So well, we just snow. thank you for coming back here where My it's pleasure. 60 degrees. I know. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> even 70 about? before the day is through. And first, let's, before we talk about credit specifically, let's tell you about in the new year, you are going to need more than ever good information, good solid information on a myriad of subjects. And womenswisdomnetwork.com is the place to go for that. Can I just say that do you mind I, I'd appreciate that thank you because really what Terry does is is you have basically created a network where I can go and get information on any type of subject um, anything experts. for women in business and professional life my, my goal was if you couldn't afford to find and pay experts and consultants how could we mentor other people through our, our relational and intellectual a capital and that's what I wanted to do so I make it as ubiquitous as possible put it on the net both in podcasts and video and uh, articles so for instance if you needed information on a, why you need a good privacy statement we've got the number one lady in the country right so you could be in Dubuque Iowa looking <laughs> at, at starting a business where that was important and get that it was so cool credit big on your mind you just did a, an interview I on just this. interviewed the credit woman of the century her name is Jerry Detweiler she not only has credit.com but ultimatecredit.com and she is she speaks English which is very nice <laughs> and she really knows her stuff about credit and boy we have to pay attention you were in fact you called me and you said I cannot believe this and this is a woman who knows a lot about everything but this is um, and I'm speaking of you you're looking at me like who oh? <laughs> we are shall I say if we don't know this stuff about what our credit cards can do we could be in serious trouble give us it's, some examples it's imperative that we start being real conscious about our credit and the reason is is because you know we've had a, a robust economy for the last 18 years people have used credit cards for good and bad reasons the most important thing right now is we can't just like flip through our mail and throw away some of those things because the very first thing is is that they're raising rates and it, it's even for people who have never been late, who've never abused it, who've never uh, done anything wrong on their credit. Or they're gone over limit time, or any of that. And they're raising them. And they can do that indiscriminately because of the way the laws are written. Don't they have to alert you before they do well, that? Well, and that's the key. Uh, it does say when you sign up that at any given point they can do certain things. But lately what they've done is they've sent out these little bitty... Uh, you know, hard mail. I mean, they'll send it hard yeah, mail, but, but there's a little really notice, that. and you don't really read it. And it says, "We will raise your rates, and if you don't approve of that, that's okay. You have the option to cancel. However, you have to pay off that card, and you have to close the account." Wow! And of course, the print, I'm that's, sure, is about it's like bitty. you know, you have to get a jeweler's glass to be able to read it. Before, I seem to remember that when you didn't like the interest rate on your credit card, and you had had good credit, and you've been a long-serving customer, you could call them up and say, "Hey, you know what? Mm -hmm. I don't like this rate. You're either going to cut it, or I'm going to kill the account." And they go, "Oh, oh, no, no, we don't want to lose you. We'll lower the rate for you." Are they just like no it, more? Well, it's quite the reverse. Um, for instance, one of the tips that we're going to give you today is if you have a credit line open that has been inactive you know a lot of people just use one or two cards but they have three or four right they will close those accounts which cuts off your leverage ability because that means you're stuck with the one that you have right. so what should you do should you run out and just charge dinner uh, you know Actually, on this card that maybe you don't really want to use but just uh, to, to keep some activity Jerry says go out buy gas buy groceries something you would normally buy and then just pay it off just to keep the activity there because it gives you that leverage because in life uh, those of us that are in commission, those of us that you know get paid in certain bonuses, sometimes you have the time and not the money, and then you have the money, not the time. So right. you want to be able to give yourself that flexibility, but watch your credit statements. Just pay attention. See what's happening on your credit cards. We have to do that anyway because of identity theft. Well, That's and true. you're talking about these new rules that were, were going to go into effect July of, uh, what, 2000, 2010. 2010. Boy, do they know how to help us or what? They sure do. How is that going to protect us once that happens? Well, in the meantime, that's the whole problem. That's why we have to pay attention. The other issue that you really got to pay attention to is your credit limits. Here's an example. So let's just say you have a $10,000 uh, credit line. 
and you're you're up to about say five thousand dollars okay not not significantly bad however they may decide to cut how high you can have so they may drop it to eight this affects your FICO score. Sure does. And so, <gasps> oh, because you owe more in proportion, proportion to percentages. Can they just drop it just like Apparently, because they want to drop it? That's correct. They can decide that maybe they don't want to lend you that much credit. And with the credit world tightening, are we are are we at risk of seeing a lot more of that? According, we're, we're not sure. We're according to Jerry, and she's got a great podcast that we have on the network, so you can listen to it. She's about seven or eight minutes into what you need to pay attention to because we haven't. And so right. more, more importantly today from today's program is let's pay attention, let's read, let's highlight what that rate is, look at last months and the months before, see what's happening because you're going to want some protection. And it's amazing how the, the interest rates on your home mortgage loans and probably your home equity loans are going way down and the credit card rates are going oh, way back up. Boy, That's and you might not even realize it until yeah. you're suddenly wondering why your minimum payment is well, $300 and instead of $100. Do we have that information on the screen, that, that web address that you Women's told us was? Womenswisdomnetwork.com is where to find. And not just this subject, but all sorts of subjects. Thank you so much. That's very powerful stuff. Keep us updated. I will, and we also have good stuff on identity theft. and. Boy, that's very timely. It's right there on the screen. We'll see you next month on Live at Night. Thank you. Regular contributor. That's your title. All right. Not much of a paycheck comes with that, but we'll talk. <laughs>